I really didn't want to even make this video. But honestly, being reserved just isn't in my character. Hey guys, this is Jules with True Crime Reactions. This is going to be a non-monetized video because y'all are about to hear things from me that you don't usually. So for any of you that have issues with cuss words or someone being pissed off at someone who's a complete piece of shit human, either keep listening and shut up and don't tell me anything in the comments or get off now because God forbid somebody's little snowflake ears be offended by what I'm about to say. Yesterday in my community tab, I made a couple of posts concerning a piece of shit YouTuber who has felt the need to sell the naked autopsy photos of Gannon Stouch on her Patreon. Now this YouTuber has almost a hundred thousand subscribers. This YouTuber caused a lot of shit in the Kylie Rodney case. And if anyone who's already known about the situation watched Cinema Shogun's video about this yesterday, you were reminded. She entertained all of Ryan Upchurch's bullshit. She entertained all of Jared getting up there and insinuating all of his bullshit about Jagger Westfall. She entertained all of it. And just like Jennifer Coffendaffer, Zav girl, she sits there and she just stares at the screen. She has no actual opinion of her own. She lets all these psychopaths get on her panel and run her mouth. And then everyone that watches her, because she doesn't correct any of these idiots that get on her channel, they then think that that's God's word. And then all that stupid bullshit information that was told gets spread around in these cases because she does nothing to rope in her own people. She has no control over her house. Now, I wasn't going to make this video. I really wasn't. I was trying to just keep, I was just trying to keep it in the community post, but I woke up this morning and I checked one thing changed my mind because when I got up this morning, I checked to see if everything from last night was still on Zab Girl's Patreon. And it is. Now, last night when I checked this, there was 252 members. Now overnight, we have 14 more sick, disgusting psychopaths who have now joined her Patreon because now there's 266. Now here's her little $3 tier because for $3, you can watch and entertain yourself with some naked photos of a deceased child. Look, video this, I don't even know what this is about. This is from yesterday. This is probably her taking no responsibility like she always does because she never takes any responsibility for any of the shit that she pulls. And here she is complaining about how the videos that she has on Patreon aren't working because people keep putting them in another website and sharing the links. So that must be why Patreon is deleting them. No, how about the fact that you're basically selling child murder porn? You know, that's probably the reason why they keep deleting them. Autopsy video, autopsy video, autopsy video, autopsy photos video. She's not taking anything down. She's been being called out for the past couple of days now, it looks like. And these are, how old, is, how old is this? See, this is from yesterday. Like this was yesterday that she updated, I guess. I don't know how Patreon works, but this post at least shows that it's four days old. So for four days now, his autopsy photos of his poor little naked body have been being viewed by complete strangers. I hate this woman. Now I went to her community tab and it looks like she's had this information for about two weeks now because the post that I saw about her having the case file is from 13 days ago, or it was from 13 days ago when I took the screenshot yesterday. So two weeks ago today, she's had this case file. And I saw something that Grizzly True Crime posted on Twitter and it looks like the damn thing cost about $412 to pay for the copies of this case file. Now I have no issue with the case file being gotten by anyone because if it's public information and it's something that you want to study, I understand. Okay. I don't have issues with that, but this woman went and paid over $400 for a case file to then turn around and try to make her money back by selling photos and videos of photos and videos of the autopsy of a murdered 
dead 11 year old child. Like her 100,000 subscribers and monetized channel don't give her enough of an income. She has to then try to double her money by doing this. And there's another person. It's not just Zav. It's not just Zav. And I know that she's got the most responsibility here, right? Because she's got almost 100,000 subscribers. 100,000 people support this sick, disgusting freak. And I'm just going to tell you guys right now. If you support that, if after this you find nothing wrong with Zav Girl's behavior, and for some reason you feel like being on the side of the Wicked Witch of the East is where you belong, stay there. Stay there. You don't belong in the true crime community if you see nothing wrong with this behavior. But like I mentioned, there is also someone else who is just as guilty. So let's just go ahead and get to her. This chick is doing it too. And just like Zav, whenever you go and you look at her community posts, instead of taking real responsibility and getting rid of what she's doing, she's sitting here making a whole novel about how she's not the one doing anything wrong and how true crime isn't pretty and this isn't a big deal it's a big deal whenever it's a freaking child it's a big deal whenever it's a child and we are supposed to be like a safe haven type community because we're not supposed to allow anything that's going to harm a child okay and just because he's no longer alive doesn't mean that what you are doing isn't harming him it is destroying his family you and zav both are y'all so stupidly broken hearted and not human anymore that you didn't think that this was fucking highly inappropriate that you didn't need to share the photos of the naked body of a dead child you could have just gone over the damn case file you could have just read things there's no reason what so the hell ever besides for your own sick twisted pleasures that y'all decided to do this it goes for both of them this little cooper chick and Zav, both of you can literally rot in y'all's imaginary hell. And this person, I had comments whenever I tagged her and Zav in this whole situation yesterday, but she's sitting here acting like she's such a, a, not a bad person and that everyone is just going overboard and she's making all these excuses. She's a scammer. There's people in my comments that knew about Natasha Cooper and her bullshittery before this situation. So the fact that she can sit there with that kind of reputation and try to take up for herself. As a mother, I'm disgusted. As a human, I'm outraged. As a fellow true crime YouTuber who tries her best, her best to put accurate information out there and to debunk all the bullshittery that goes on, I'm floored. And I'm, I'm really glad that a lot of creators are seeing what's going on here. Cinema is the first person I saw do a video. But I saw this at first on Twitter and people that I didn't even know were talking about this on Twitter. And then rabbit talked about it. Grizz got in on it. SF investigates now knows about it. Cinema's obviously talking about it. The more people that call these two psycho bitches out, the better, because this is how you really rally for a victim's family. We can talk about these cases all day long. We're not going to do anything. We're, we're not in the judicial system. We, we can help. If we find things valid, we can help justice happen. But most of the time, in all reality, it's a very slim chance that what we do here is going to change anything. But this is an opportunity for us to actually make a change in something. Report her channel. Report her Patreon. Report her on social media. Both of them. Anyone who is sharing this naked child's autopsy photos, technically, in my opinion, should go to jail. To me, like I've mentioned already, this is child murder porn for a lot of sick fucks out there. And all she's doing is feeding a fetish. It's fucking disgusting.